Connect for the Xbox 360 is surprisingly good. I played it at the E3 convention and at PAX, and now I've played it at home, and Connect is now performing very, very well at launch date. It's accurate, there is no controller, and it's still accurate, which is a very strange feeling and takes getting used to. It feels a bit like sci-fi magic because you're just not expecting this technology in your own living room. And that gives it a real it factor. The interfaces are surprisingly intuitive, even if you don't go through the walkthroughs explaining what to do. But you will have a few missteps, but I found that I adapted pretty quickly. Play. The voice commands, again, work for the most part, even though at times you will find yourself yelling at your Xbox like a crazy person. The camera will track your movements around the room, and you can use it to make video calls. There are already a lot of games out for the Kinect system at launch, and they are pretty fun. They are also geared towards a more casual audience, which is what the Xbox needs. It is a direct stab at the Wii market, which the PlayStation Move is already attacking. I am a hardcore gamer, but I still found these games to be fun just because of how you interact with them. The game that will stick out the most will be Dance Central by Harmonix, the same company that brought you Rock Band. And this game is perfect for the Kinect system. I expect we'll be seeing a huge resurgence in dance games because of this new technology. That girl is it's got a decent set list, there's a lot of different moves, and there's variable levels of difficulty, so just about anyone can play this game. Connect as a device performs well under pressure, and it has the games to back it up. It isn't as precise as the PlayStation Move, but it is just as accurate as the Nintendo Wii. Only, no controller. The games are cool, but they won't necessarily make you look cool, but that's part of the fun. For in-game at msnbc.com, I'm Todd Kenrick.